What's going on and welcome back to Unbox Analysis everybody. I am Gary. I am your host of this channel. Coming up today, well, you guys like Timu. You guys like the video, so for now, we got a couple more coming for you. Right here, a little different kind of haul. I wanted to see what we can get for under $10 and see if it's useful. Is it junk? Is it good? I don't know. Let's jump in, find out together. All right, we're going to hop right into it. This. What is this? Ah, so I found a solar panel under $10. Is it any good? Uh, no idea. So first we're going to do is we'll pop it open. We'll take a peek, see how it looks, check out the quality, and then I'll go hook it up outside and we'll just kind of see how it does. All right. So first up, we have our panel. Okay. Check that out. Panel seems to be pretty thin. Got the solar material here on the front. And then a small plug in the back with a USB type A port and some instructions. Looks like it also comes with a couple of hanging clips so you can hang it from something, I guess. So what I will do is I'll head outside, we'll hook this up, and we'll stick a phone on it or something and we'll see what it's at at the end of the video. Okay, here we are outside. We have the panel, we have a cable, and then we have a 32% charged work phone. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm choosing this spot here because I'm not really set up to do anything outside and I wanna keep the phone over here in the shadow. So let's get it plugged in. We have just a little connector here on the back that the USB slots into. And you can see I already have a light on because we're out here in the sunlight. So we'll turn it back over, get her plugged into the phone here. And just like that, we appear to be charging. Okay, so it is 12.05, we're at 32%. I'm gonna film the rest of this video, and then we're gonna come out and we're gonna see how high this battery has gotten. Okay, beautiful day outside, just got this set up. So, we are at 32% on the phone, and we will update it here towards the end of the video. For now, let's get into our next item under $10. Now, just like the rest of my videos, prices are going to be up in the corner, and I'm gonna to try to basically just tell you if I think it's a good deal or not. And if it is, I'm gonna have a link down below. You can go check it out. On that note, right here, before I open this, if you guys are liking this video so far, if you've liked any of my other ones, please go subscribe to the channel. It helped me a lot. We're really trying to hit that 1,000 mark. And for everybody who helped me get over 600 already, I appreciate you and thank you for coming back. Okay, so this one is called the Intelligent Light. It's just a basic light for putting up in somewhere and seeing, you know, closets or whatever you really want. Okay, so. Okay, so what it comes with here, we have a couple of magnetic sticky pads. That's actually pretty nice. Check that out. So they have sticky on one side, magnet on the other. Nice little inclusion. I like that. We have a micro USB cable for charging and then some instructions. Let's see if she's already charged up. Oh, on the end we have the power, brightness, and charging port. Okay, so the brightness doesn't actually just change brightness. It changes color temperature. Good to know. So we have daylight, natural light, a dimmer mixture. I, I mean, it seems pretty decent. Let's turn the lights off and see how well it works. Okay, so this is just the light from the bar. Honestly, not bad. If you had this in a closet or something, I think this thing was pretty cheap, but I'd say this is definitely worth it. Make some fun videos with some black outlines. All right, no, that's pretty neat. Let's check out the other color temperatures here before we get all the lights back on and move on to the next product. So this one, kind of like a, Natural light. You can do all sorts of interesting things with this for filming too. It's tiny, it's cheap, it's portable, and it comes with magnetic strips. Okay, let's get on to the next product. Okay, next up I thought I would pick up a couple of things kind of, you know, based around what I thought people might use in their day-to-day -day life. 
So here we have a multi-function Bluetooth controller for your phone. So obviously I'm in a different situation. You know, I'm trying to get into the whole recording and recording in better places type situation. So that's kind of a focus in my mind. So this here is just kind of neat. Out with your friends, taking pictures, and you don't have somebody else to take the picture. Well, go set your phone up somewhere and use this little guy. So what this is, this is a ring type attachment that you use to record video, take picture from your phone using Bluetooth. To start off, you have a USB type C charging cable. Honestly, really surprising that they can put that on something this small, but yet some companies still don't put them on headphones. Okay, it looks like it popped up as a keyboard under JX03. Just gonna go ahead and allow that to pair, see what happens. Okay, right there and then it is connected. I'm gonna go ahead and test out the buttons, see what happens. Okay, so the top button flips around my camera. Bottom button also flips around my camera. And if you hold the center button, it starts recording. All right, check that out. Okay, this is a win. This is absolutely a win. I've actually bought in a couple of these before when I first started that I tried to use on my Sony camera and my phone, and they didn't work at all. Plus, USB Type-C. Super useful in a lot of different situations. I would highly recommend this little guy. And it's small, so it doesn't get in the way, it doesn't take up a lot of space, fits right on your finger if you want it to. All right, let's see what else we got. This next product here, I really saw and I thought, man, this would be amazing to use with all of them old consoles we had before. I'm not gonna test this one, but I'm gonna open it up and check it out because this is just, it's neat. And for this price, a lot of people were talking about how they don't have RCA connections, the red, yellow, and white connections that go in the back of older TVs for older gaming consoles per se. But what this does, this actually allows you to connect those connections in the back here to an HDMI, allowing you to use newer things. Now it also says it's an upscaler. I don't have great stuff to test upscaling. So off of the reviews I read, this was pretty solid. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's simple, it's basic and it works. I would, I would recommend this right away. And I'm sure if by chance you get one that doesn't work, team will refund you or send you another one. So, you know, these are all kind of the same, but for under 10 bucks, super good deal. Especially if you're looking at some of those game consoles I reviewed in my previous videos, I'll put that up here. Next one, I will test this one out. I don't have the highest hopes for this because it is a wireless camera for under $10. And super cheap cameras. The quality tends to be pretty hit or miss, but I thought I'd give it a shot anyways. So let's check this out. Okay, inside the box, you have some instructions, what appears to be a mount with some double-sided tape, a USB micro cable, a 64 gigabyte micro SD card. That's actually a lot bigger than I expected. And the camera. Hmm. She is tiny. Let's check it out and see how well it works. Okay, it does appear to have an official app right on the store. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that. Wish me luck. Okay, we got it connected. I decided to go ahead and hook it up on this stand too. Now, if you look here, it has a stand. This is my, my battery pack, but it's magnetic on the end of the stand. Super simple, other side, double-sided tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and record from the little camera, and you guys can tell me what you think. If it looks anything like what I'm seeing on my phone replay, it wasn't expected, but I'm impressed. Like just, just overall, the quality seems pretty decent. Like I'm sure the audio isn't great, but the fact that it's this clear for under $10, dang it, this has to be a recommendation too. The A9 camera, links will be down below. Okay, moving on to our next item. Uh, well, I imagine a lot of the people watching my channel like RGB. We like gaming, we like RGB. It's just what we like. 
that's all right. Or if you don't, maybe you have a kid. Maybe you have a kid who likes RGB and you don't want to spend a whole ton of money because you don't know what to get. Maybe this is it. It might not be though. We're going to test it out. I want to see how bright this is. Um, first downside I see, now if we look here, I'll open it up a little bit. There is one RGB about every three inches. That is a pretty small number for a strip, but for the price, it might still be pretty decent. Keep in mind, everything here is under $10. So let's plug it in and see what kind of brightness we have. All right, so it has a wireless remote. So we're gonna crank up the brightness here. Oh, that's the speed. That's supposed to be brightness. All right, so this is about as bright as it gets. It is not the brightest thing in the world, but hey, it works. And if you want something, you know, for your kid without spending a ton of money or just for something small, it's probably worth it. Let's get the lights off and check it out. As you can see, once you're in the dark, it's actually decently bright. I don't think my camera is gonna be able to focus on this at all. So it's gonna be a blurry mess. Sorry about that. Okay, with the lights off, this thing is actually decently bright. Now, do I recommend this? I mean, depending on the price, absolutely. For 10 bucks, if you just want something cheap, maybe even something you wanna put somewhere where you're not sure if it's a good idea to put a light and you don't have to worry about it, well, it's cheap. It's worth a shot. Not a bad little strip. Would be nice to see it with a few more LEDs in there, but then again, the more LEDs per inch, generally the price goes up quite a bit. All right, let's get on to our next product. Okay, this next one I just thought would be entirely useful. For the price, this thing is just useful. This is a USB 7 port 3.0 hub. Um, now the speeds are probably going to be, you know, USB 3 speeds, hopefully. It has power buttons for each individual spot. So say you had those RGB lights hooked up, you could take them. So let's say you got the RGB lights hooked up, but you don't want to unplug them or use the remote every time. So you have a power button right here, simple, on and off. It works, it's cheap, it looks decent, and it even has a spot to help you screw it into something, the side of a desk, underneath the desk, the wall, whatever you're feeling. 10 for 10, would recommend this little guy. Seems super useful and I will be using it in the future. This might actually end up being my charging station for my lav mics or some of my equipment. All right, simple enough, let's get on to the next one. I do a lot of custom keyboards here, not crazy custom keyboards, but we're gonna get into more, don't you worry. Biggest thing out there right now a lot of people like to buy with their custom keyboards is really nice coiled cables. It's a great aesthetic for the desk, it looks nice, it gives you kind of a disconnect option. And then when I saw one on there, I'm like, man, I gotta check this out. Okay, so this one is the NYCV, and this one is marked as blue. It looks like it's a light blue. It says it is a double sleeved braided cable Total length of 179 centimeters, coil length 15 centimeters, coil diameter 20 millimeters. So first looks at this, this, this looks sharp. This looks super nice and this was under $10. Unreal. It has metal connectors on the end. I mean, if you look a little closer, it's not the fanciest thing. This isn't a $90 sleeved cable. But for under $10, this sucker looks really nice. It feels like a nice solid cable. It already has little protectors on the end. And then you have the two sections that clip together with the four prongs, just like so. And then they thread together with this little nut. I mean, man, this, I might order a few more colors. Maybe we'll add one of these into the next giveaway with the keyboard. Because seriously, that's a nice stiff cable. This part, nice and flexible, really nice braiding. Yeah, this thing, this thing is nice. 
We'll double, we'll double check it. We'll make sure it at least works. Let's see if it'll charge my phone. My, uh, my good friend Melissa, uh, her Twitch stream, I'll put it down below, it's my first kill. Um, her and I actually met because she bought a mystery tech box from me from just random stuff. And one of them was a $65 coiled cable for a keyboard. And when she opened it on her stream, she was super excited to have a new phone charging cable. And it just cracked me up because that's one of the most expensive phone charging cables I've ever seen anyone use. And now I'm gonna do it myself. And there we go, she's working. Seriously, these things are cool. Now, if you wanna have a nice set of different colors you can use, maybe you're the type of person who likes to change up the look on your system, or you just want one of these and don't wanna spend the 65 to 100 and whatever dollars on those expensive sleeved cables, these are worth checking out. Now, I don't know if they would cause any kind of latency issues. I mean, it's pretty basic, so I can't imagine they would. Now, for a phone charger, it might not be a great high-speed cable, but this thing looks seriously impressive for the price. Highly recommend it. Get down in those links, guys. Go check these out. Absolutely check them out. This next one here, I got because I've been kind of wanting to do a few more things with my GoPro. Um, I have some future videos coming up. Uh, fun hobby of mine, I like to go off-roading. My Jeep. One of my babies. It's my toy. I like it. So I want to get a couple more accessories to take my GoPros and I want to get some more things to test and open for the Jeep on this channel. You know, do a little more in-depth testing where maybe I do some mods on the Jeep and then I go out and test them. So this next one is just a GoPro clamp mount that I thought would be super useful. And really all I'm gonna check here is I wanna see the quality of this thing. Does it feel cheap? Does it feel like it would hold up on the outside of a vehicle? Now obviously it can be tested, but for now, I just wanna get hands on. So the way this works, you have your normal millimeter thread here for cameras, GoPros, and all sorts of other accessories you can hook on. Then you have your lower clamp. You put it around something, clamp it down, screw in the camera, and it feels, it feels pretty well built. So you have this top one that spins, giving you a ball mount here. So you wanna put it on the side of the vehicle, whatever, you got a good range of motion. Yeah, this sucker feels solid, and this is a lot cheaper than a lot of the GoPro accessories I've found on the internet. Um, this, is, this is nice. Would recommend this already. You know, I'm gonna test this. Um, it won't be in this video, but we're gonna get some content coming up with the Jeep here soon. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Some mods, maybe even some off-road recovery equipment. We'll see what Timu has to offer. If not, we'll have to check out a different site. So if you like that idea, let me know down below, get subscribed, and it will be coming, I promise you. Okay, now our last one kind of surprised me that I found this for under $10. Um, it's gonna be hard to imagine this is good quality, but let's, let's check it out. Oh man, it is stuck in the bag. Okay, I managed to find a backpack for under $10. First impressions, not bad. Is it an LTT backpack? Heck no, those suckers are expensive. I heard they're nice, but expensive. Speaking of which, if you guys want me to check out an LTT backpack, let me know down below. Okay, our $10 backpack. This feels a lot better than $10 in quality. Inside is padded. It's got a lot of different sleeve spots. It even has a USB cable inside that appears to be a USB type A pass-through. So if you want to put a power brick inside of there and just have your backpack on and plug it in while you're going with your phone, that's, this is a lot better than I expected for $10. I mean, is it going to be the strongest thing in the world? No, absolutely not. Actually, as I opened it, I kind of pulled here. You can kind of hear some of the stitching coming out, but seriously, this is under $10, guys. Let's, let's test the... Uh... Okay, I think these would hold up. These are stitched pretty well. Yeah. I mean, I could fit all of my, all of my crazy tech in this bag. It would be so awesome. I could probably staple my, my solar panel charger to it. 
Oh, that's great. All right. So, so far, pretty much everything we opened up today, I would recommend. Last thing I want to check, I want to go take a look at that solar charger. I want to see if that thing is actually charging anything and if it's moving. Okay, guys, sorry for all the background noise. I live pretty close to a road. So this has been sitting here just a little over 30 minutes now. And check that out. We are at 44%. Let's see, it's... <laughs> We are at 44% after 30 minutes. So we gained 12%. This thing actually works a lot better than I expected for under $10. That is pretty cool. Okay, we're back inside. Now, sorry about the poor audio quality in the phone recording from outside. I live next to a pretty busy road, but check that out. 30 minutes, 12% battery. Now, is that the fastest charging in the world? No, but that is free battery power for less than $10 on this little tiny solar panel. That's a lot better than I expected. I thought I'd go out there and it'd be two or 3%. We got like 12%. Seriously. I mean, look at this little camping setup right here. Boom. Put this like so. Stick a battery bank on the inside. Plug the battery bank in through the USB cable and you just let this sucker charge and then when you need to charge your stuff while you're camping, that is awesome. Speaking of which, we have a future camping video coming up. It is going to be awesome. It is going to be all team camping all the time. So we're going to go camping for a couple of days, me and a couple of friends, and we're going to use nothing but team stuff for cooking, <laughs> uh, sleeping, everything. Everything we do at the campsite has to be team related. I think I'll be taking this with me. Um, all right, you guys, seriously, thank you for coming back and watching this video. If you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit that 1K mark. When we get to the 1K mark, I'm gonna do a giveaway, I think. Something decent, you know what I mean? The previous giveaway winners have been pretty happy. Nothing too crazy, but we're gonna step it up for sure. So, again, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. And make sure to check out the Timu link down below. Now, if you use that link down below, you're gonna save like 50% off your first purchase as a new user. Really awesome setup. So thanks for coming back to this team video and we'll see you on the next one.